on December the 6th, 2017, United States President Donald Trump declared publicly that he recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and plans to relocate the American embassy to Jerusalem. Therefore, I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. I am also directing the State Department to begin preparation to move the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. This made Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu very happy, and he publicly praised Donald Trump for his support. We're profoundly grateful for the President for his courageous and just decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to prepare for the opening of the U.S. Embassy here. President Trump said he made the recognition about Jerusalem being the capital of Israel to facilitate peace in the Middle East and still supports a two-state solution between Israel and Palestine. This decision is not intended in any way to reflect a departure from our strong commitment to facilitate a lasting peace agreement. We want an agreement that is a great deal for the Israelis and a great deal for the Palestinians. We are not taking a position of any final status issues, including the specific boundaries of the Israeli sovereignty in Jerusalem or the resolution of contested borders. Those questions are up to the parties involved. The United States would support a two-state solution if agreed to by both sides. With all that being said, President Trump's declaration drew some criticism from the United Nation and other European leaders because they believe it has a very worrying potential impact. President uh, Trump's announcement uh, uh, on uh, Jerusalem has a very worrying potential impact. It is a very fragile context and the announcement has the potential to send us backwards to even darker times than the ones we are already living in. The European Union has a clear and united position. We believe that only realistic solution to the conflict between Israel and Palestine is based on two states. And uh, with Jerusalem as the capital of both the state of Israel and the state of Palestine. Also, there was a backslash from Arab and Muslim countries in the Middle East who are against Trump's declaration. And instead of facilitating the peace process, they said it will complicate it. Egypt says it would complicate Middle East matters. Jordan says potentially dangerous repercussions. Palestinians say dangerous consequences. Saudi Arabia, our ally in the region, detrimental to the peace process. Turkey says it threatens to sever uh, its ties with Israel. What the big fuss is all about is the fact that Palestinians want occupied East Jerusalem as the capital of a future state, while Israel says the city cannot be divided. Jerusalem is significant to Muslims for religious and historical purposes. It is considered the third holiest city in Islam after Mecca and Medina in Saudi Arabia. And it is home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock. And Israel says Jerusalem has been its capital for the last 3,000 years. And it functions as the capital of Israel today because it contains the Israeli parliament, Supreme Court, and the president and prime minister live there. Violence has ensued as a result of all of this. An article from the BBC entitled Netanyahu, Palestinians must face reality over Jerusalem, states violence flared near the US embassy in Lebanon and elsewhere on Sunday. In Jerusalem itself, a Palestinian was arrested after stabbing and seriously wounding an Israeli security guard at the central bus station. And an article from Al Jazeera entitled Arrests Clashes as Palestinians Continue to Protest says, The day of rage protests have continued across the occupied West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip over the US decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. 
At least two Palestinians were killed and nearly 800 others were injured during protests on Friday, while two Palestinians were killed in an Israeli airstrike on Gaza Strip and the unrest against the US decision continued for the fourth day. More attacks may come in the near future and many evangelicals see all this as a fulfillment of Bible prophecy. Evangelicals endorse a system of theology called dispensationalism which divides Bible history into certain eras. According to this system of theology, Jerusalem has an important role to play in the end times. Dispensationalism teaches that we are now living in the church age and when the rapture occurs, the church age will come to an end. Then there will be seven years of tribulation during which the Jews will experience a religious rebirth and accept Jesus as their Messiah and build a third temple in Jerusalem. Following that would be a series of events including the Battle of Armageddon, which consists of all nations being drawn to Israel to battle against Jerusalem. At that point in time, Jesus will descend from heaven and land on the peak of the Mount of Olives and defend Jerusalem by destroying all of the foreign armies gathered against it. Then Christ will begin his millennial reign on earth. This is what most American evangelicals believe. Now I don't believe this. I don't think it's biblical for a second. It's false prophecy and it's dangerous. If you want to learn more about that, I'll leave some videos linked up in the card on the upper right hand corner of the screen with more details. But this is why many people consider Donald Trump declaring Jerusalem to be the capital of Israel prophetic because they think it's paving the way for the building of the third temple in Israel, the battle of Armageddon and the return of Christ. Something else that's interesting to note is Donald Trump receives considerable support from his evangelical voter base. An article from The Independent entitled The Real Reason Trump Declared Jerusalem the Capital of Israel was because he feared losing his evangelical voter base stated Trump's Jerusalem declaration has been widely and enthusiastically welcomed by his religious base. Johnny Moore, who acts as a spokesperson for the Trump's evangelical advisors, stated, The issue was second only to concerns about the judiciary among the evangelical supporters. President Trump has yet again demonstrated to his evangelical supporters that he will do what he says he will do. For Paula White, a megachurch pastor from Florida who is close to Trump, once again, President Trump has shown the world what I have always known. He is a leader who is willing to do what is right, however loud are the voices of the skeptics and critics. Evangelicals are ecstatic, for Israel is to us a sacred place, and the Jewish people are our dearest friends. There is also the money in this. Trump's campaign has received substantial funding from the Christian right, and also hardline American Jewish promoters of Israel. They include Sheldon Adelson, the casino billionaire and Republican donor who had given $20 million to a political action committee which supported the Trump campaign and another $1.5 million to the organizers of the Republican convention. Adelson has been lobbying the president persistently on the embassy transfer. So we see that Trump's supporters like the American Evangelicals and Sheldon Adelson are all for the establishment of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And Trump recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital makes sense from a political standpoint in order to maintain their support. Unfortunately, this may lead to more instability in the Middle East and even attacks against the United States by radical Muslims. Not to mention, Trump's evangelical supporters aren't going to be too happy when their prophecies aren't fulfilled because they believed in a lie. Something else I find concerning about this is how much influence Trump's evangelical voter base has over him. It's never a good thing when you give religion that much control in politics because the Bible in Revelation chapter 13 indicates that apostate Protestant America will be influential in convincing the United States to pass laws mandating Sunday worship, which will constitute the mark of the beast. President Donald Trump recently publicly declared that he recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. He said he did this to facilitate peace in the Middle East, but it looks like this effort 
may have had unintended consequences. There has already been a political backlash with riots and deaths as a result. It's likely Donald Trump did this to satisfy his supporters, many of which include American evangelical leaders that believe Jerusalem will play a major part in end-time Bible prophecy. But the only major prophecy this is leading to is the forming of the image of the beast, which is a church and state union, and the enforcement of the mark of the beast, which is enforced Sunday worship, which Revelation chapter 13 warns us about. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. If you'd like to support my channel to help me continue making Christian videos, links to my PayPal and Patreon accounts are in the description box. Feel free to like and share this video to help spread the word and check out some more of my videos by clicking on the screen. I have a lot of good Christian videos, which I'm sure you'll enjoy if you liked this one. God bless you.